Kenichiwa. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Ela. It's your girl Sydney. What's up? And we're back with another vlog. We're just exploring around our area. See. Oh, now I really can't see. <laughs> we're just exploring around, doing stuff, regular day in our lives, and looking at a Hotel. Abandoned hotel. We can't go in, but we're gonna take some pictures around it and just walk around to someone's like, hey, you can't walk around. So yeah. Let's get started and see how the day goes. Weave out. They really expected a whole lot of people to come here. <laughs> to a Christian water park, I don't know. Why was Christians on the water park? That's the question I wanna know. <laughs> Oh, they so the uh, slides went into the holy water. They got baptism. Baptized? <laughs> yeah, they got baptized. <laughs> this will be so give you some history of this. This is called Heritage USA. This whole area that we're in right here used to be a Christian a Christian water park. And at one point it was the sixth most visited uh, amusement park in the country. I then this place went into some scandals. And I'll link down below what the scandals are. I, if I was a good vlogger, I'll probably redid some research and tell you all the stuff right now. But you know what? This hotel is, uh, is what's left. There used to be a castle as well, but they destroyed the castle. I think there's a Last Supper building here somewhere. We're gonna go look at that as well. And now we're just walking around. They have a church, some church people own this land now. I think there's some hotel, uh, not hotels, apartments near as well. And they can't destroy this because you see how tall it is and you see how close it is to the buildings. There's no safe way to really destroy it. So it's just here. And I guess it probably costs a lot of money to build anything in it too. I wonder if that was part of the building. So this was. Jim and Tammy Faye Backer as part of their ministry. The more you know. Construction is in process, so they're doing something. See? Maybe they're restoring it. Maybe making it something that they can use for their church. I mean, that's the only thing they can't destroy in like. That's a lot of space though. What are they gonna do with all that space? What are they gonna do with all that rust? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of space. Private property. The scandal was uh What was the scandals? Jim there was rumors that Jim Baker had uh, sexual encounters with a young woman. So sexual encounters is what shut this place down. I didn't, they're building this. So a sexual scandal is what got this place shut down. He had a sex, it was a sex scandal and he basically took a lot of the funding that was from the PTL, which I guess the, the church's like financial thing, I don't know. Um, and used a lot of that to basically buy the woman's silence. He tried to fix a wrong with another wrong. <laughs> yeah, he had, it said it had sexual liaison. I don't know. I don't know how to say that word. Well. With a woman, and then use that money from the church, pushed it basically all to like covering up the scandal and keeping her silent. Something that was very unchristian like. Oh, true, true. I didn't. Afterwards, all the other Christians probably heard about it and it's like, we're not want to be associated with that. Yeah, so I see how yeah. all of that type of stuff. Yeah. I wish I could go back in time and explore, stay at this hotel. The moral of the story is just like consent. Thou shalt not own a Christian themed water park if thou art going to commit a crime. <laughs> End of prayer. And now we're at the upper room. It's a recreation of the Last Supper. They have little statues. She's nervous because it says private property. Oh. I wasn't raised religious. 
I think we'll be fine. We're just walking about. We're not vandalizing anything. They got little statues. This is a part of the theme park as well. I think they turned turn this into an actual chapel because why not? They're like, we got the building. It's like a little castle. Does that light even work? <laughs> it doesn't even look like it's actual light. No, I think that's actual light. Ooh. I mean, it's pretty. That looks like a castle. Yeah. They even got a castle door. No weapon against thee shall prosper. No weapon forged against thee shall prosper. And all I could think of was, well, maybe a gun. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a gun. Maybe a gun. I don't know. I'm pretty frail. Or a traverse. A what? A traverse. You know what a traverse is? The commandments. The Ten Commandments. Where's the adultery one? We was telling them about that. Thou shall not. Still, thou shalt not commit adultery. Mm -mm -mm. And that was what he did. Dedicated to the employees who built the upper. Oh, that's cool. Wonder if anybody that actually lives in this area actually worked here. That'd be cool. Or goes True. Yeah, they're playing music right now, so we're assuming people's inside it right now. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's creepy. Yeah. Or they have one of those pianos that plays by itself. They on their own. Oh. Hmm. Start burning. <laughs> that is in no offense to my my fellow, well not my fellow, but my Christian people. I just am not religious, but I respect religion. Really cool. I don't think I even heard of a Christian theme park before. So what made Christmas think to make a theme park? I don't know. That was kind of. Oh, they try to make a theme park to convert you. <laughs> you go down the slide and they give you a plant flip. And here, you like that slide? Well, guess what? They got water slides in heaven. That reminds me of Jehovah's Witness coming to my door. <laughs> we explore what was left of the theme park, and we're gonna do some more research because I have this a series called Remembering and we remember like failed events or controversial events or uh, areas, people, products, stuff like that. So we're gonna do a documentary about this area because it seems pretty cool. So stay tuned to that as well. And what you think about what little parts we did see? Uh, very, very, very religious. Also yeah. the hotel was huge. Yeah, it was huge like huge i'm honestly i was a little concerned as to like and it was the third most visited water park theme park i guess in the united states at the time but like that's um that's a lot of space yeah and they're trying to turn it into a resort area and like i don't i don't know how they're going to fill up that many rooms i don't either i actually want to i'll put down the number right now right here to show like you how was, many numbers how many rooms was in the hotel that was like a like that was like the size of like a i don't know like a best west best yeah like one of those Western. ones that would be at like the beach or at like temple stuff like yeah was, that that was huge just like the ones you see like in charlotte or like right next to carolyn's yep it's probably the biggest uh, tallest uh building in fort mill i don't think there's really no need for the building to be that tall in fort mill i have no idea what's around fort mill <laughs> 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 True. Not knocking for I just don't really know what That's why why they never destroyed it. Like, no, that's our pride and joy. Right? Probably. But, but yeah, now we're gonna go to this place called Freddy's Custard Steak Burger, something like that. I never had it. And well, you had never had it? No. Yeah, and we'll get to you with that as well now. This is where we're at now. Freddy's frozen custard and steak burger. Hopefully it's good. And now we're in the Freddy's place. Got me a milk. She got some bacon. Bacon sandwich. I got a bacon cheeseburger. A bacon cheeseburger. It's a pretty neat little place over here. 
Y'all should check them out. There's a franchise. This is my first time eating here. And about to smash, we'll let you know how the food is. Buck bag. Did it just... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I did it with my mind because you cut me out. Okay, uh, Magneto. <laughs> I love how it stopped at you as well. That's kind of weird. This is good. I told you I moved it with my mind. This is pretty good. We're just getting a lot of good things today. Made fresh for... Oh. I guess it was going to put like a name right there. Mine just says PP. <laughs> SS. Sunrise. PP. <laughs> She's drinking PP. <laughs> I recommend this place too. Sponsor us. Oh, I got a brain freeze already. Don't, ah! don't sponsor him. He's, ah! too He's too weak. Sponsor me and stuff. This is pretty good. Ah. Are you okay? You weak. They look like the typical white couple. You're not wrong. <laughs> They're like the, like the picture typical. Yo, she straight up looked like she bitching at him too. <laughs> like when I mean the typical. Oh, we still recording. <laughs> you gotta turn off the copyrighted music. Oh shit! Right. I get flagged like heck. All right. So today we went to what was left of the amusement park. We saw the hotel and the chapel. Uh, documentary series episode coming soon. Be prepared for that. We went to a burger place, Freddy's. It was, it was good. It was really good. And then we got some, some lightning, some lightning, <laughs> some lightning. <laughs> and smoothies. And the smoothies are pretty good. The food was good. So I recommend all that stuff. And yeah, you got any closing thoughts? That was a pretty interesting day. I mean, getting to see. Um the part of, I guess, this area, not in this area, but the surrounding area that I've never been to before. Um, I'd really like to do the podcast for the theme park. That was so interesting. It was just like very weird to see. Yeah, that hotel's like just unnecessarily big. Like, it is huge. It's right next to a church too, <laughs> which is so odd. Yeah, but yeah, we'll get to you. And link down below to all the stuff and everything. And yeah, leave out.